Most dinosaur fans know that Spinosaurus was big. It was one of the largest theropods ever, after all, topping out at around 7,500 kilograms. But a paper from Magandoko and Del Sasso, published May 30th, 2018, shows a more diminutive side to our favorite sailback predator. The two Italian paleontologists describe a pedal ungual phalanx, which is part of the foot that supports the claw. The phalanx measured 21 millimeters across, or slightly longer than the metal eraser guard in a pencil. Assuming that the rest of the portions were comparable, and that ontogenetic changes weren't super dramatic, this baby Spinosaurus would have measured around 1.78 meters long. Using Fernoy's mass estimate for MSNM V4047, it would have been about 12.1 kilograms, or 3.45 average European newborn babies. I'm not sure why I included that. What's particularly interesting about this discovery in question is that the proportions of the ungual in question are the same as those of the corresponding bone of the adult. This indicates that, yes, their feet were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do, and one of these days, indicating that the strategy of using widely spread feet to paddle through water and move over swampy substrate was applicable to Spinosaurus in all stages of its life. So baby Spinos and adults could be swimming and walking right next to each other, just like the little adorable murdered ducks that they were.